Welcome to Science Access. In today's class, I'll be talking about measure of dispersion or variability in statistics and we're talking about the grouped data. Okay, let's take a look at this question. The following scores were obtained using the naked types scale in measuring student attitude towards geography. The scores are actually displayed in boys. Draw a frequency table using a class interval of five. Determine the range, variance, and standard deviation. Now, the first thing that you do is to draw the frequency table using a class size or class width of five. As usual, how do you draw a class width? You will actually take a look at the value. You can't just start drawing arbitrarily. You take a look at the values. Then, take a look at the lowest number and the highest number. So, let's take a look at this table. Let's take a look at these values. The lowest number, I think, is 14. And the highest number that you can see is 30. So, my range, the way I will put my class interval will fall into that range. It must be below um, 14 and it must be above 30. Now, another thing that you need to consider when arranging your class interval is that the lower class limit, which are these values, must be multiple of the class interval. For example, if you are asked to do a class interval of 4, it must be multiple of 4. Or if you are asked to do a class interval of 3, it must be multiple of 3. In this case, you are asked to do a class interval of 5, it must be multiple of 5. And the multiple of 5 that is actually below 14 is actually... You know, our least value is actually 14. So, and the multiple of 5 that is below 14 is actually 10. So, I will now take 10 to 14 as my first class width or class interval. Now, note this. 10 to 14 is a class width of 5. How? To get the class width here, I'll have to subtract 0 0.5 from this and add 0 0.5 to this. So, here will become 9.5 and here will become 14.5. 14.5 minus 9.5, you have your 5. That is the class width or class size. So this is how you do it. Now, I'll now put 10 to 14, 15 to 19, 20 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34. Note that the lower class limit here are all multiples of the class width or class interval. All right, so 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. They are multiples of the five, of or five. Now, after doing that, you now have to count the numbers that fall within this range. 10 to 14. How many numbers do we have that fall within this, this range, 10 to 14? So you have to look through this. You have to look through this. You have one, have two. So we now have two as the frequency in this case. Numbers are within 15 to 19. Let's quickly take a look at this. You have, this one is within 15 to 19. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. Let's count again and check if we're actually accurate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and this is 17, so it's actually 17. So the right hand side is 17. So you do the same for 20 to 24. You count the numbers that are within, to, uh, from 20 to 24, you count the number that is there, and you get 12. You count the number that is between 25 to 29, you get 7, and you count the number that is between 30 and 34, you get 3. Now, after doing that, you, you have to calculate for the midpoint. The midpoint is you simply add these two numbers together and divide it by 2. So if I add these two together, I'll have 22. Sorry, I'll have 24. 24 divided by 2, I'll have 12. 
add these two together, you have 34. 34 divided by 2, you have 17. All right, so you do the same for all. Now, after getting that, you now look for, remember, your midpoint is actually x. So you now look for f of x. What is f of x? It's simply use, using the frequency to multiply the x. So you use this times this, you have 24. This 17 times 17, you have 289. 12 times 22, you have 264. So you just do that. And after, do that, after doing that, remember, you always add your frequency. Uh, summation of the frequency is 41 here. Now you now add this. Sum, uh, summation of what? f of x is 8. 6, 2. Now, after doing that, you look for the x square. What is x square? It's simple. 12 square, you have 144. 17 square, you have 289. 22 square, you have this. So you square each value. Then after looking for the x square, you look for the f of x square. That means use the frequency to multiply this. You have use 2 to multiply 144, you have this. Use 17 to multiply this, you have this. So you do that for all, and this is the value here. Now, after getting this, you now sum it. Sum the word f of x squared. You have the sum as 19184. Now, let's take a look. Let's now calculate for the range. We now start from calculation of the range, variance, and standard deviation. Note that standard deviation you can and variance you use to. You can solve it with two methods. So I'll solve with the first method, then after that, I'll use the second method. All right. So let's calculate for the range. So the range is actually the highest value minus the lowest value. So we know that the, the highest value is actually 30, and the lowest value is 14. Is 14. So 30 minus 14 will have 16. Now the variance, the first formula that we use to calculate the variance here is f of x squared. Summation of f of x squared all over summation of f minus this one is the same thing as the mean, so you can just decide to square the mean minus f of x all over a summation of what f. Remember, this formula are, is the same thing as the mean. Mean is this formula is for the mean, so you can just decide to put your mean value here and square it. All right, so let's check the value for the summation of f of x squared. What is the value for sum of f x squared? You can see it here, 19184. So that's what we have here. We have here, 19184. Summation of F, or the frequency, you can see it here. This is 41. This is 41 minus, remember, this is the same thing as the mean. The mean. So I can just decide, I've calculated the mean before, and it's actually 21. I can decide to just um, square 21, but let me just put the value. So. We have this is summation of f of x, which is 862. This is what we have here, 862. Then all of our sum of frequencies, this and this are the same thing, which is also 41. So if you use 41 to divide this, you have 467.9. And if you use this to divide it, you have approximately 21. Note that there is square here, please. All right. So if I square this value, I'll have 441.84. And if I subtract this from this, I'll have 26. All right, approximately 26. So this is the value for the variance. All right? Now, how do we get the standard deviation? Standard deviation is simply the square root of variance. Square root of variance. So that's what I wrote here, the square root of variance. And what is the variance? It's 26.06. So square root of 26.06. And our answer for standard deviation is... 5.1. So let's try the second method of solving standard deviation and variance. So the same question, let's use the second method to solve um, the variance and standard deviation. Now, we already know how we got the class in server. You know how we got the frequency from the previous table. The midpoint I have explained before, the f of s, which is x times f, we have explained before. Now, in this method, once you get the f of x, the first thing that you do is you now calculate for your mean. You calculate for your mean, which is the mean formula which I did in this little box. Formula for mean is sigma f of x all over sigma f, which is this, the sum of this all over the sum of this. So now I have 
8, 62, all over 41. Our final answer is 21. So note that the value for the mean in this case, mean, mean value, this symbol is what? 21. All right. Now, once you get the mean, remember, this is x minus x bar. Now, x bar is the mean. So you just decide to, our x here is 12. 12 minus 21. You have minus 9. Second x here, 17 minus 21. You have minus 4. 22, which is the x here, minus 21. You have 1. Here, x is 27 minus 21. You have 6. Here, 32 minus 21. You have 11. Now, once you get this, you have gotten the answer. Just square it. What you have here, square it. So, minus 9 times minus 9, you have 81. Square this, you have 16. Square this, you have 1. Square this, you have 36. Square this, you have 1, 2, 1. After squaring it, the next thing that you need to do is simple. Use the frequency to multiply it. F bracket uh, the, all over this. So, you use F to multiply this. This is this. So, you just use F to multiply it. So, now I have 2 times 81. That's the answer. 17 times 16. That's the answer. 12, which is the frequency, times this. That's the answer. So you do that. After that, you now sum everything. Once you get that, you have gotten your answer. The next thing that you need to do is simple. Apply the formula. Now, let's take, let's take a look at the standard deviation. This second method, this is the method for calculating the variance, is the sum. Look at this. The sum of this, sum of f bracket x minus x bar square. So the sum of this all over sum of frequency. So the sum of this, we already have it here. 1061. We put the value here. Sum of the frequency, we already have it here. 41. And you put the value here. You just divide and you have your answer as 29.25.9. Now in the other method, we have 26. And this is actually approximately 26. All right? Now, the next thing, you look for your standard deviation using the same thing. You just look for the square root of the variance. You square the value here and you have your 5.9. Approximately, approximately 5.1. So that is the simple method. You can decide to change the class interval to theory or the class width to theory and solve for the standard deviation as well as the variance and range.